Hello everyone, in this video I'm just gonna show you how to create a bow tie and then add it as a button to our default library and apply it to a garment. So first step, I create a pattern piece and uh, yeah, with the pattern piece I will apply uh, fold angles, therefore I need to cut these lines. I just simply split them in three segments. So once I have them, I now want to have uh, internal lines. I choose the graduate segment length because I only need them in the middle and I, I will go with three internal lines for now. And it will be, so to say, two uh, parts. So now I will just quickly move to my 3D window and so they move them here on top of each other and sew them together at the internal lines. Now the top and bottom line will both get a fold angle of zero and the one in the middle will get 360 degrees. Now to make them fold nicely, uh, I will place a pin by holding down W on my keyboard and so just to fix them in the air. Uh, as a next step, as it's a quite small pattern piece, I will already lower the particle distance to let's say two for example, just to create this nice and um, nice drape that we get here and uh, use the strengthening function to make them so as they bend together. Now as a next step I will create the ribbon that normally goes around. So I have my pattern piece here, place it closely and with the select mesh box tool simply move parts of the pattern so as I to the back. Same as I do here with this part on the bottom. Once again I will lower the particle distance for this piece as well and up the collision slightly so that it will create, um, that it will have a safe distance around and yeah, lastly I will assign a bit of this additional thickness rendering to each part and then I have the possibility to shrink the warp direction slightly and step by step so that it's nicely put together and uh, yes once all of this is in place I can now uh, delete all my pins and uh, so to say strength unstrengthen everything or I will maybe even Um, not unstrengthen, every, uh, unstrengthen everything and then get rid of the internal lines just to avoid to have these wrinkles that we had. But now in general this is kind of the my bow tie shape that I want. Let me just add a color or also if you want to add a fabric from our library simply go to the fabric folder, choose a, I will just go with a poplin for now, assign it to a bow tie and then let's make it into a uh, a red color so that it's um, I guess this typical bow tie visual and um, now once all of this you can see the scale so it's still quite uh, yeah it's still big enough so now I will have to create um, uh, I have to export it as an OBJ and I select all patterns in my scene. It is a single, a single object, thick, unified UV coordinates, and uh, then I simply press OK. 
I move it a bit to the side and simply re-import the OBJ that I just saved. Same scale. Of course, you cannot have a avatar. And yeah, you can already see that, especially when you now look at the scale, I made a mistake and I did not choose exactly the same scale. But that's no problem because now we have this scaling tool in the software uh, where first of all you can do it with the axis here or you can simply type in the measurements here on the side. And now if I so to say type it in for let's say the x-axis it's currently 80 centimeters so maybe for a button I want to get it down to um, 60. I press OK and my whole bow tie is now uh, shrinked to this size. I will once again now make use of the gizmo and as a next step it is important to position this bow tie in the center of the x, uh, x and y axis so at the zero point slightly above And once this is done, I will now clear my scenes. I will get rid of the pattern pieces and simply save this OBJ file one more time. I can simply check the mesh type here. It is currently at 18,000. So that is a bit high. Uh, so th what I should have done is to not increase the particle distance that much. Normally the buttons in the Clo default library have around uh, one to two thousand vertexes. So now when I import, export it again, I will name it bowtie positioned and save it. Same um, options as before and press OK. And uh, now is the next step. I will so I say delete this. I prepared a file of, for address. And for this address, we want to now replace the buttons that we see here and want to re register this bow tie as a button preset. So we have the button here. I will now register this shape by clicking on the plus. First of all, I need my bow tie positioned as an OBJ file that you can see here that uh, you always need. I press OK and it's now registered as a button preset. Now what we can do, I can sort of say select all the buttons and simply apply this bow tie here as a button. If you think the scale is a bit too big, so you still have the option to maybe go down to, let's say, 40, and um, so I have it with all the features of the button function and position it along address. Thank you very much for watching.